after the problem solving, we can continue, I beg your pardon, sometimes technical problems uh, stop us. But here we are, so uh, I will be briefly, because I know you are tired, morning has been really long, <laughs> sure, you have shared a lot of research concerns, so um, I will try my best. Um, I will be um, audiovisual, so that um, perhaps will give your attention more than theoretical. You have the paper if you are really interested in the theoretical uh, pattern, okay? So, I will present you I will present you uh, first digital competence in use. We are in the track digital competence for a digital world. So here we are with digital competence. It's very important for us to be um, conscious about what means digital competence. The last few decades in Europe, in Europe have been characterized by the inclusion of digital technologies in all areas of, as we can see, economy, health, policy, administration, and of course, education. It could be said that the European education and training systems are definitely starting to embed digital technologies in their training methodologies for digital competence. So, digital competence are our concern. Looking back in time, we could find that it was from the context of librarians where it was launched in 1998 a set of rules to manage informational competences related to current digital competence. Later, in 2006, the AASL launched the standards for the 21st century learner, evolving the information literacy concept from moreover multidimensional concept. Furthermore, the AASL published several reports where it specifically explained how to integrate and foster these new skills for the new age. In other hand, we briefly mentioned the educational evaluation that focuses in the assessment of new competences needed in the 21st century, supported in the, needed, in the necessity of a digital transformation. Special interests have the e-skills assessment fostered from the educational testing <laughs> service. We could mention as well assessment and teaching of 21st century skills and technology and engineering literacy assessment, the last uh, assessment from 2014 by the National Assessment of Educational Progress from America, the United States of America. So we have two different contexts where we find a development of digital competencies, which was the librarian context and the evaluation context. What happened in the European context? If we focus on Europe, we can find that the Bachmann report was the first important document where it was recognized that preparing new parents for the advent of the information society was a priority task. After that, as we can see, we have different actions, programs, and plans where the European policy towards a new age strategy based on new necessities of the century. Digital competence in the map of European Commission was firstly acknowledged in 2006 by the European Parliament as one of the eight key competencies for lifelong learning. This was acknowledged as a competence that involves the confidence and critical use of information society technology for work, leisure, and communication. It was underpinned by basic skills in ECT, the use of computers to retrieve, access, store, reduce, communicate, present, exchange information, and communicate and participate in a collaborative networks via the internet. Well, that was in 2006, but it was in 2011, in 11, sorry, when the digital competence was really developed and had a real framework. It was with the digital, the digital project that was launched by the Information Society Unit at the Institute for Prospective Technological Studies within the Joint Research Center of the European Commission. 
Braden aims to contribute to a better understanding and development of the digital competence. It was developed, as we can see here, in four different reports. Okay? And these reports aim to provide three main uh, um, scopes, scopes to identify the key components of digital components in order to knowledge, skills, and attitudes, to develop digital competence descriptors, and to propose a roadmap, a road, a roadmap sorry, for the possible use and revision of the digital competence. The result, the result was that, that in 2013 we have we had a complete concept of digital competence in five uh, different dimensions. Digital competence as learning domains. That means knowledge, skills, attitudes, strategies, values, and awareness. Digital competence as tools. It means the tools that are required when using ECT and digital media. Digital competence as competence areas, multidimensional. This is very important to perform different tasks, solve problems, communication, manage information, collaborate, create and share content, and build knowledge. Very important point. But digital competence as well in different ways. That means effectively, efficiently, appropriately, critically, creatively, autonomously, all that you want to continue. And at last but not least, <coughs> digital competence was acknowledged and recognized and in different proposals. That means in work, in leisure, in participation, learning, socializing, consuming, and empowerment. So, we really had a big concept of framework for digital competence, but that was in 2013. What happened in the 20 years? Because digital competence is not a finished, a static concept, but rather a dynamic, changing, and multidimensional concept influenced by the imperatives of, that, of a digital connect society. So this is why three years later, in June of 2016, the European Commission, Commission update and review the two dimensions of the digital competence. In this table, you can see it slowly if you access to the presentation, you can see the main differences in both reports. Mainly I can tell you, summarizing, that the European Commission just added three different components that digital information and digital content to be uh, acquired and added to all the sub-dimensions of the uh, digital competence. So, oh sorry, this is the last one. So, in 2016, which is the map for digital competence for us? For us as teachers, for us like students, which is the map? This is the map. Digital competence in five main areas, information and data literacy with three sub-dimensions, communication and collaboration with six sub-dimensions, digital content creation, this is really important in the knowledge society, okay? We as teachers, as students, like content creators, like creators, okay? The fourth one, problem solving. We just uh, have had now a problem solving. We have technical problems and we have to resolve it with the structures, <coughs> with the infrastructure we have, okay? And at last, safety. Safety is really important in all that this um, uh, variety, this map, uh, these different tools uh, and this uh, manage of information. And this is, um, this is uh, the first presentation for digital competence in 2016. Thank you very much for your attention.